Hey folks, super quick video today. Uh, just a quick upgrade to the workbench. I got a new vise, so it'll be just removing the old one, putting the new one in, and testing it out a little bit. Cool, so let's get started. So y'all remember from the last video. This thing is, uh, didn't fail, but the connector for it did. Uh, so I have something new here I'm gonna install today and uh, we will see if it makes a decent replacement or not. This is the five inch bench vise from forward. It's a little bit bigger. And that, including some new lag bolts, we should be able to get this thing to be a little more sturdy. This is the old lag, well, not the case. Last bolt is a star hit. Uh, I'm gonna say we're gonna have a lag bolt. Alright, so you'll notice that I really only have a 2x4 here and like half inch plywood. So that's fine for these three because these will go right into here. But the one in the middle, I'm gonna have to do something with. Not sure yet. What I'll do, maybe I'll just drill a hole and put a bolt through it with two washers. Oh, let's see. some pilot holes so this doesn't split the wood. So I'm just gonna get a drill bit that matches the oh, close to matching the inner diameter. It's almost seven millimeters. So the closest I have here is six. I'm also gonna put one of these extra batteries in the place here. Yeah, I need this later. Bought some 
forgot to check the sizing on these. Scenes. Right, the only thing moving here is the entire workbench itself. Alright, so for this last side, bolt with some kind of flatter washers. Ideally, uh, you would want to kind of tie this all in together, but right now it's just kind of going through here. I uh, planned on doing some uh, steel L brackets into the concrete. Alright, that's a much bigger job. So let's do a quick close up. Comes pretty well oiled. Um, forward brand. Nice little anvil up here, a little textured. So just keep that in mind if you're looking for a completely smooth anvil.
Pretty neat little vise. Not bad for the price. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It's, uh, the paint is kind of flaking off in areas. I mean, what do you expect from a $150 device from Amazon? I basically just went by basing dimensions. I think it's a much better device than I had before. Not a bad vice. I'm not going to be able to give you um, pressure numbers, but let's see what I can do with this. Pretty solid grab, replaceable jaws. It also has this feature here, so if you want to So if you want to do like a pipe, hold some kind of pipe like this. It's pretty cool. This is the reason why I bought this particular vise. Uh, it, yes, I'm on a budget because I'm doing this entire car and spending a ton of money on it. So yes, my, my tools kind of suffer a little bit, but I did buy it for this particular reason and it's pretty secure. It is grabbing both sides here positively. Uh, it's not on the bearing, so yeah. So this thing, uh, I think it'll do what I want it to do. It would have been nice if it was just a little bit deeper of a throat, I suppose, if I could grip this up here, but but I'm okay with that. It's, it's all right. I am uh, going to replace these bolts with different ones. Um, I was told that the ones that came in the kit that I bought might not be ideal, so I'm going to replace those. I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, let's get a thumbnail.